Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's how-to, we got the good folks from Bison Gear and Engineering in the house, and we're gonna be talking about the role that gearing plays in gearbox and gear motor efficiency, as well as why it's important as the specific design advantages of hypoid versus worm gearing. And helping us out is Mike O'Donnell. He's with Bison Gear and Engineering. Mike, welcome to the program, man. How are you? Good, good, thanks for having me. Well, it's good to have you here, and you know what? No matter what you're doing, and, and Mike, I think you'll agree with me, when you're doing hypoid or worm gearing, you're replacing something or doing anything like that, you got to have your PPE on. We just want to let you know, PPE is so important. Uh, whenever you're working, whatever the job task may be, safety is always priority number one. Hey, what do you mean by gearbox efficiency? Because, you know, I've got like energy efficient light bulbs in my house, mm -hmm. but I mean, are we really talking about the same thing here? We are kind of. Energy efficiency is a function of energy in versus energy out. Energy in comes from the motor, energy out is a result of the amount of torque that a gearbox can deliver at a given speed. Gear motor efficiency measures how much energy is lost between gear stages due to friction. Efficiency is something equipment manufacturers need to be conscious of when specifying a gear motor because they have multiple stages. Now, all gearboxes and all gears, they, there's no way they can be the same when it comes to efficiency, right? No, that's incorrect. Actually, they are very different. Okay. For instance, high point gearing, which is a type of bevel gearing we manufacture at Bison, is rated as being much more efficient than worm gearing. Okay, now before we actually dive down into the specific advantages of the hypoid versus the worm, I want you to tell the viewers a little bit about you know, how you measure efficiency, how is it calculated, G give us the overview here. Sure thing. To measure the efficiency, first we take a motor where efficiency is known, attach it to a gearbox, and measure the watts in versus watts out. What? Exactly. What? Watts. What? Yes. No, that... no, I'm not asking what, I mean watts. Huh? What? Exactly. Okay, keep going. All right, that gives us the efficiency of the overall system, which allows us to easily determine the efficiency of the gearbox. In calculating efficiency? Calculating efficiency is dependent upon what type of gears one uses and what type of gear motor you're working with. All right, let's say, for example, right angle gear motors. Gear motor efficiency for worm right angle gear motors is calculated by the following formula, where E equals efficiency and MG is the gear ratio. High point gear motors efficiency is a bit more complicated to calculate and would take more time and space than we had set aside for today. It encompasses factors like the geometry of the high point gears, the spiral, the pressure angles, and numerous other considerations. Fortunately, our high point gear design allows us to provide a uniform efficiency rating of 90%. 90% is pretty good, remember that. Write that down, there'll be a test later. Um, that's pretty interesting. So the high point gears sound more complex than a worm design, mm -hmm. but how do they actually compare on efficiency? Well, high point gears have improved gear teeth contact. This allows for less energy to be lost due to friction. With worm gears, the gear teeth are not designed to interlock as precisely, thus creating more friction, heat, and other effects that could decrease the life of your system. Okay, I see. Now you mentioned friction decreasing the life of your product. Elaborate a little more on that. Sure. Energy is lost due to friction in the form of heat. As temperature increases, internal components within the gear motor, such as seals, bearings, gears, they all begin to wear. Eventually the product will not perform to the specification. All right, and the high point gear motor, more efficient, so it's gonna run cooler, right? Exactly. Okay. Our tests show that high point gear motors can run up to four times as efficient as worm gear motors. The bearings, seals, gears, and all the other components will last much longer. And I know for a fact that Bison will manufacture both worm and hypoid gear motors because that's how good Bison is. Am I right, Mike? That is correct. We ah, do. We yes. manufacture several different AC and DC right angle worm gear motors that can be used specifically for applications requiring the gear motor to be self-locking. We also have our new line of high efficiency hypoid gear motors called the Power Star, which are available in AC or DC versions as well as Imperial and metric designs. Are there any other advantages to hypoid over worm gearing? Well, going along with the hypoid gear motors being more efficient, worm gear motors will require a larger horsepower motor to compensate for the energy lost to friction. Hypoid gear motors can complete the same task with a smaller motor, saving on space and cost. That's pretty fascinating. So where could the viewers go if they wanted more information on hypoid gearing? They could check out our newly published white paper on the advantages of hypoid gears available to download online. And they could learn about Power Star. That sounds like a radio thing, so. Mike, thank you very much. Thank we you very it. much. That's Mike O'Donnell. He is with Bison Gear and Engineering. And if you have any questions about anything that Mike was talking about today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out and uh, also direct you to that website that Mike was talking about so you can get more information on the Hypoid Gear. Isn't that kind of cool? I thought it was. Hey, you know what else is cool? watching other how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Remember, we wore PPE, whatever it calls for on the job, that's safe. Thanks so much for watching today. Oh, wait, I got a call, hold on. 
Hi, yeah. No, Mike just left. 